Vermont, a landlocked state in the New England region of the northeastern United States. With area of 24,923 km square and population of just 0.65 million, it is the second least populated state in USA. Vermont borders Massachusetts to the south, New Hampshire to the east, New York to the west, and the Canadian province of Quebec to the north. Known for abolishing slavery before any other US state, in this video we will explore and know everything we need to know about the state of Vermont. Vermont's name originates from the French language, where vert means green and monts means mountains. This reflects the state's landscape, characterized by lush greenery and majestic mountain ranges, running from north to south. The earliest inhabitants of what is now Vermont arrived approximately 11,000 years ago, as the glaciers of the last ice age receded. Native American communities have resided in the region for about 11,000 years. During the period of European encounter, the competitive tribes of the Algonquian-speaking Abenaki and the Iroquoian-speaking Mohawk were prominent in the area. The arrival of European explorers in the 1600s marked the transition from the woodland period to the Abenaki year. At that time, there were approximately 10,000 indigenous people in present-day Vermont, with an estimated 75 to 90 percent succumbing to European diseases like smallpox. In 1609, Samuel de Champlain led the inaugural European expedition to Lake Champlain, naming the lake after himself and crafting the initial known map of the area. Throughout the 17th century, French colonists asserted their claim over the territory as part of the Kingdom of France's colony of New France. However, as the Kingdom of Great Britain began establishing colonies to the south along the Atlantic coast, the two powers engaged in competition both in North America and Europe. Following their defeat in the Seven Years' War in 1763, France gave up its territory east of the Mississippi River to Great Britain. In 1749, the governor of New Hampshire, Benning Wentworth, initiated the auctioning of land in an uncultivated area lying between Lake Champlain and the Connecticut River. This region came to be known as the New Hampshire Grants. However, in 1764, King George III declared that this territory fell under the jurisdiction of New York, thereby invalidating the legal title of the landowners in the New Hampshire grants. This dispute led to the formation of the Green Mountain Boys by Ethan Allen, an unauthorized militia that engaged in arson and violent actions against New York settlers and investors. Eventually, they successfully defended their territory against the New Yorkers. Later, alongside Benedict Arnold, they participated in the American Revolutionary War. On January 15, 1777, representatives from the New Hampshire Grants proclaimed the independence of Vermont. Initially, for the first six months, it was known as the Republic of New Connecticut. On June 2, 1777, a second convention comprising 72 delegates assembled and officially adopted the name Vermont. Subsequently, on July 4, they finalized the drafting of Vermont's inaugural constitution at the Windsor Tavern and officially ratified it on July 8 of the same year. Notably, this was the first written constitution in North America to explicitly prohibit adult slavery, stipulating that male slaves attain freedom at the age of 21 and females at 18. Additionally, the constitution guaranteed universal adult male suffrage and laid the groundwork for establishing a public school system. For 14 years, Vermont governed itself independently, with its main base in the eastern town of Windsor. During this time, from 1785 to 1788, Vermont even made its own coins. Then, on February 18, 1791, Congress made it official by welcoming Vermont as the 14th state of the United States, effective March 4, 1791. This made Vermont the first state to join the Union after the original 13. Vermont took a stand against slavery too. During the American Civil War Vermont sent 33,288 soldiers to fight for the United States, and sadly, more than 15% of them, which is 5,224 soldiers, lost their lives. Vermont took a progressive stance on women's rights too. They allowed women to vote decades before it was included in the national laws. On December 18, 1880, women in Vermont were given limited voting rights, starting with town elections, and later extending to state legislative races. As time progressed into the 21st century, Vermont became known for its progressive values. In 2000, it was the first state to introduce civil unions, and in 2009, it became the first state to legalize same-sex marriage. Then, on January 22, 2018, Vermont made history again by becoming the first state to legalize recreational cannabis through legislative action. Geographically Vermont is situated in the New England region of the northeastern United States. The Green Mountains, forming a north-south backbone, stretch for most of the state's length, slightly west of its center. Towards the southwest, you'll find the Taconic Mountains. Moving to the northwest, near Lake Champlain, lies the fertile Champlain Valley, with Lake Balmacine situated to south. The west bank of the Connecticut River delineates Vermont's eastern border with New Hampshire. Lake Champlain, the sixth largest freshwater body in the United States, acts as a natural boundary, separating Vermont from New York in the northwest part of the state. Mount Mansfield proudly stands as the highest peak in Vermont. 
Burlington, stands as the most populous city in the state, with its metropolitan area boasting the highest population estimate of 225,562 as of 2020. The state experiences a diverse climate, with an average annual temperature of 43 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degrees centigrade. Its autumnal landscape bursts into vibrant hues of red, orange, and gold as cold weather approaches, particularly notable on the sugar maples. Winters grow colder at higher elevations, with snowfall averaging between 60 and 100 inches depending on altitude. The agricultural growing season spans from 120 to 180 days. Climate change in Vermont manifests through various impacts, including increased rainfall and more frequent storms and flooding. Winters have become warmer and shorter over the past 50 years, as reported by the state government. These shifts have disrupted the winter tourism industry and caused declines in crucial agricultural sectors, such as maple sugaring and woodland industries. Vermont took early action on climate change by adopting greenhouse gas emissions goals in 2006, signaling its commitment to addressing environmental challenges. In Vermont, 94% of residents identify as white, and 92.2% of the population consists of non-Hispanic white individuals, making it one of the least racially diverse states in the U.S., alongside Maine. Vermont, along with Maine and New Hampshire, stands as one of the three states where French is the second most spoken language at home, primarily due to its proximity to the province of Quebec. According to the Pew Research Center's 2014 findings, Vermont had the highest rate of your religion among all U.S. states, with 37% reporting no religious affiliation. Christianity remains the predominant religion, with Catholics comprising 22% of the population and Protestants making up 30%. In 2022, Vermont boasted a gross regional domestic product, GRDP, of $40.6 billion, positioning it as the smallest among U.S. states in terms of economic output. However, its per capita GDP stood at $63,206, placing it 21st among all states. The finance, insurance, real estate, rental, and leasing industry emerged as the primary contributor to the state's GDP, accounting for approximately $6.47 billion. As of 2022, agriculture, forestry, and related animal industries collectively contributed 0.45% to Vermont's gross domestic product. Dairy farming continues to serve as a primary source of agricultural revenue, with the iconic dairy barn symbolizing the state's landscape. In 2019, Vermont dairies accounted for two-thirds of all milk production in New England. Forestry has historically been integral to Vermont's economy, constituting 1% of the total gross state output and 9% of total manufacturing as of 2013. With over 78% of the state's land area covered by forests, a significant shift from the 37% in the 1880s, when sheep farming dominated and extensive land clearing occurred for grazing purposes. As of 2022, Vermont leads the nation in maple syrup production, yielding 2,550,000 U.S. gallons, that is 9,700,000 liter, which represents 50.7% of the total national production. In 1999, apples were designated as the official state fruit, while apple pie became the official state pie. Approximately 23% of Vermont's vegetable farms practice organic farming methods. Vermont's 99.9% .9 share of electricity generation from renewable sources was the highest. Among all 50 states, summer camps such as Camp Abenaki, Camp Billings, Camp Dudley, and Camp Hochelaga play a significant role in Vermont's tourist economy. The state is home to some of the largest ski areas in New England. In 2021, 93.4% of Vermont households owned a car. Vermont's transportation infrastructure includes a well-developed highway network and a railway network. The Patrick Leahy Burlington International Airport stands as the largest airport in the state. In 2009, Vermont earned the second highest safety ranking nationwide. Vermont's representation in the United States Congress comprises two senators and one representative. Montpelier serves as the state capital. In 2007, Moody's awarded Vermont its highest bond credit rating. Historically Vermont was one of four states, alongside Texas, California, and Hawaii, to claim status as an independent nation. Local Vermont politics were predominantly Republican from the party's inception in 1854 until the mid-1970s, and Republicans maintained dominance at the presidential level until the 1990s. Vermont hosts a variety of festivals, including the Vermont Maple Festival, Festival on the Green, the Vermont Dairy Festival in Ennisburg Falls, the Apple Festival, the Marlboro Music Festival, the Gulford Country Fair, and the Vermont Brewers Festival. In 2011, Vermont residents were recognized as the healthiest in the country. Winter sports hold great popularity in New England, with Vermont's winter sports attractions playing a significant role in the state's tourism industry. Additionally, basketball and baseball enjoy widespread popularity in Vermont.
Notable figures from Vermont include Chester A. Arthur, the 21st President of the United States, Calvin Coolidge, the 30th President of the United States, Bernie Sanders, a prominent politician and legislator, Rudyard Kipling, a renowned author, John Deere, the founder of Deere and Company, and George Dewey, the only Admiral of the Navy in U.S. history. So that was Vermont State 101 for you. I hope you liked the video. In next video we will bring you another interesting U.S. state.